Welcome back to the shop, another day uh, here at the Big Red Barn. Uh, I am, man, the shop is coming along and uh, gonna kinda give you an update on some of the things that I've done getting the shop ready because uh, it's not fully functioning yet and had an electrician come out this morning had him come look through everything get a game plan as he's gonna come up here next week to get this place wired so that I build furniture stuff like that it was really good big education today just kind of learning that I'm not really I don't know anything about electricity at all uh, and I'm gonna leave that to the professionals and so right now I have got to build a lot of shop furniture uh, and put things on casters because as you can probably tell it is uh, it's pretty crowded in here um, but we're gonna get things uh, in order so I've got to be able to do that and get my layout ready for him uh, when he does come to be able to run it so that we can run efficiently in here got to put things on rollers carts wheels tables all those things and man I've got a lot of scrap wood that I have saved and I'm glad I didn't throw it away because I just didn't know what I was gonna need it and now I'm saving a lot of money not having to go buy some of that stuff so I did as you can see in the background I built a clamp rack yesterday and it's freaking awesome I just don't have enough clamps you never have enough clamps as a woodworker so don't judge me I don't have plans for any of this man I'm just I, I am not I, I will build a aesthetically beautiful furniture but when it comes to shop furniture and stuff like that I am all about function not about beauty just whatever works so uh, let's check out the clamp rack let me kind of show you some things that I want to be doing then uh, we'll hit you with a time lapse. So let's do. Hey, oh by the way, we pick. Hey, Arkansas has actually won some games this year in football, which is like a rarity. Praise God. Well, we're gonna have a decent football team again, thanks to Sam Pittman. So first off, there is the clamp rack. Look at that thing. It's got shelves on it. I got all my bar clamps on one side. Got some extenders. My old clamp rack down there. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Bunch of other small clamps over here. Be able to do that. More clamps. All my Bessie's Irwin's and Jorgensen, or however you say that. Irwin clamps down here. More clamps right there. So, uh, yeah, there's the office and living quarters. Uh, really, where I'm going to office out of. I'm going to live in my home still. But, yeah, so I've got that done. So uh, it's on sets of casters so that it can move around because in the shop everything's got to be able to be moved around. In that bag, nothing but casters, tons of them. Uh, now I've got to start making tables, things that are going to be the same height for my planer over there, tables that'll be good height for my drum sander that I'll be able to have lumber on. Uh, I'm going to build a cart for my lathe, even though I don't really do a lot of lathe turning other than just maybe some simple legs. That's really all I use my lathe for. Got a table over here. I'm gonna put some uh, casters and stuff on. I've got a log cart. I, I'm not gonna go get those. And then I've got these two chests. Uh, there, I'm gonna put my hand tools in all these. Um, that way, I can move them around if I need to. If I need to take them off and carry them with me somewhere, I can. But this is uh, these two chests are just recycled things that uh, we're gonna be throwing away or in decent shape. That I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna build a stand for them and put leg, uh, you know, wheels on them so I can roll them around and have access to them. And then, you know, I'm gonna turn the top of this into my sharpening station. I'm gonna keep a lot of my uh, sharpening stones and stuff in it so that I'll have it. And uh, yeah, there's still a lot of organization. Gonna do probably like some sort of tool wall or something there. Got a lot of lumber in here, y'all. I've got some pretty cool stuff in here, uh, lumber-wise. But no, nah, we're not gonna look at that now. It's a wreck. But. Setting it up and organizing, that is just a part of it. And it will be, it'll be nice one day. This is my view every single day. It's pretty nice. Oh, and uh, just, so this shop ain't wired for 220 yet. So uh, check out the uh, table saw that I'm about to be using. Hey, that sucker, sweet. Who needs a saw stop when you can have a shop master? We didn't even fix the switch. Uh, we'll see if it works. Hopefully I don't cut my finger off. Please, dear Jesus, no. And uh, by no means am I making a jab at anybody that's using a shop master or a delta like that. I started with something even probably worse, jankier than that. And it's gotten me to where I am today with some of the stuff that I have. So, man, start wherever 
you start. That's what I would say. Don't let a uh, man. I never used to have a garage. I, I used to make work out of. I started doing this and I didn't even have a home. I was living in somebody else's house and working outside um, of their house and stuff like that. And then had my own little home. Didn't even have a garage. Any of that stuff. So uh, started just doing it outside. So don't. But uh, man, just start where you can start and um, be faithful in the process over a long period of time and you never know where you're gonna get. That's uh, one of those things like I just can't even believe that uh, I'm in a shop like this and haven't even really, uh, most of it I didn't even spend a dollar of my own money. It was all just make stuff, build, reinvest into it to have the tools that I have. Like none of those clamps I spent a dollar of my own money on. Um, it was all just from building stuff for people and then reinvesting it into more tools. So uh, don't despise the small beginnings. And uh, don't underestimate. People overestimate what they can do in a year, but they underestimate what could happen in several years. So that's what I would say with all of that. Anyways, uh, let's get to building some shop furniture. Boy, that's a lot of casters right there. Rolly, rolly, rolly. I'm an idiot. Sorry about that. <laughs> all right, progress matters. First thing to build. All right, start on it. This could be a little thin lumber cart. Gonna put a piece of probably plywood over the top of it eventually. But uh, small steps, right? Throw some casters on this little sucker. Rolls things around. You know they say layups first, you know. So uh, little cart works. It's not a uh, hard. I uh, repurposed an old base of a cabinet that I built that I uh, got taken apart and was being thrown away by somebody. All right, there it is. Uh, rolling stand number two. So we got two things knocked out, as you can. It's just old chest. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add like little dividers in here and stuff. I'll put some stuff right up there, and basically it'll just be kind of like a hand tool cabinet. I'll build a really nice one one day, but uh, I've got some really nice tools I need on that, and then I put it on wheels again. I'm not about being fancy when it comes to this stuff. I'm about function. I will make fancy furniture, shop furniture, it's just, uh, it is what it is. Uh, now, gotta build a chest for this. All right, cabinet number two or box number two. It rolls around, there it is. So both of these things are just, uh, again, makeshift stands, nothing fancy about them, nothing pretty about them, but functional, function. Uh, and so this is what I'm gonna be able to put my uh, sharpening stuff in. Uh, I'm gonna use this, it's the right height that I can put my stones on top of here and I'll probably build and screw down some stuff that like makes them hold them in place but that way I'll have a sharpening station that I'll have quick access to uh, for all my sharpening stones and then I'll be able to have other stuff you know in these cabinets right here you know I can just pull out have access to so so there's one there's two there's three and then I built that yesterday four it's coming along shop furniture all right now next little thing that I gotta do is I gotta put wheels on this I got to get to the right height. I built this already, but um, this is going to be, uh, uh, I'm going to put casters on this because it's going to be like a lumber cart as well as it's going to match the right height of, well, my planer is underneath there, but it'll be, it'll match the exact height of my planer. So I'll have a cart to be able to take stuff from as well as slide it around if I need an extended out feed table for the planer. Um, I'm going to put wheels on that cart. Over there too. So anyways, that is a, uh, yeah. 
It's hard work. It's good work. And get that's what you got to do to get a shop ready. It don't just happen. Dreams don't just happen. You got to put in effort uh, to, to get these things ready. And it's going to be... It's going to be good, y'all. So uh, I'm excited. Thanks for watching, joining along. Uh, I'm not going to time lapse me putting on any more casters on these things today. But, man, we're close. We're close to getting some really good footage and uh, start recording and time lapsing footage of furniture. Start to record and time lapse footage of sawmilling and all the other stuff that comes along with it. I just want to say thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe all that other stuff and until next time uh keep sawmilling and keep woodworking and all that other stuff peace no that's weird that's a childish thing to do oh my gosh thumbs up deuces whatever uh, i just like to slap it and that ladies and gentlemen is another day big red barn